Now, if you watched my earlier video on how to put any folder onto your start menu, uh, you saw that you can put it anywhere in this area, anywhere on the start menu area. But you don't have to clutter that with the default ones. Over here, there's an area here that File Explorer uses some of it uh, to get to your default folder so you can put and control them. So if you open up File Explorer here, and you'll see that there's some pin ones that the operating system installs by default. Those are your user folders or the particular user you're logged in. There's also ones that are frequently used by that person. Now, here's one here, for example. I'll capture If I want to pin it, all I do is click on it, and it's pinned to this upper list up here. Now, if you click on it again to unpin it, it does not appear down in your frequently used list again. You have to use it again to get it on that list. Now, if you look down here, if you have the file explorer on your taskbar, it mirrors the same ones. You can click on them without even having to go to your start menu, and it gives you the same links you just configured. So if you change something here, like I click on screenshots to add it up here, and I go back to the file, uh, the start menu, and I click on File Explorer there, you'll see that the changes are in fact here as well. Now this is just an introduction to this. What I really want to talk about is how to use that extra area I talked about in the beginning for links to other stuff. So if you open up your start menu and go down here to, uh, you have File Explorer there now, but if you go to Settings, let's click on that, and go over here to personalization and we go over to the start menu you'll see that there's uh, different configurations available but right down here in the gray and a lot of menus have that gray area down there with more options so here's all the documents that you want to see when you go into the start menu so we're here and uh, we see the list there of those ones up top well if we go up here and we turn on some of these other ones documents downloads music music well, music off uh, well, for now, we'll show it. Pictures, videos, you click here, all of a sudden they're listed right here in that empty area that you hadn't seen before. Now, if you go into the file, file Explorer here, you have most of the stuff here, so maybe you don't need all the, the File Explorer showing all the time. So you can do that too. You can turn it off up here in the menu, and you come back in here, you'll see that that's not there. Just the manager default folders that you indicated in your uh, settings screen. So I'm going back into uh, my settings and turn off some of the things that I don't. I'm going to turn File Explorer on, and I'm going to turn off videos, uh, music, and take a look here. So I get a couple of things I want to have here uh, showing uh, every day so I can get to them very, very quickly. So there you have it. Another way Windows 10 allows you to uh, make some configuration changes to give you those quick links or ease of access kind of things that you can use every day. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10, and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10, and general how-to videos, all here to help you make the most out of your system.